So let us talk about uh, software metrics using constructive cost model. We also call it as co co mo model, constructive cost model. So metrics uh, in software are of two types. First of all, we have direct and then indirect. So function points uh, can be taken as a indirect metrics and function points are used to measure the effort of the project. And now we are going to talk about the cost estimation model. So what is cost estimation model and why we use cost estimation and how are they calculated? So cost estimation model is used to calculate the effort and the schedule, the effort and the schedule of a project. And cost estimation models gives easy ways for risk mitigation and prepare plan for building the project. So they are calculated using cost drivers. And what are the cost drivers then? These cost drivers are critical features that have direct impact on the schedule, the completion, the successful completion of the project. So we come to COCOMO that is constructive cost model. It was developed by Barry Boehm in 1981. So it is an algorithmic cost model and this is based on uh, size of the project. So the size of the project may vary depending upon the function points. This is the COCOMO model or rather models because we have different COCOMOs. So basic COCOMOs is used for relatively small projects. Team size is considered to be small and cost drivers depend upon the size of the project. So the effort and schedule can be computed like this. this effort E is equal to A into KDSI to the power B into EAF. This is effort where this KDSI is the number of thousand of delivered source instructions. Kilo delivered source instruction. Kilo delivered source instruction. This is KDSI. And A and B, they are constants and they depends on the size of the project. While computing this uh, schedule S, this is equal to S is equal to C into E to the power D. Now we have computed the effort. We can directly use this E in this schedule um, computing. C into E to the power D is the effort and C D are again the constant. So this EAF is called the effort adjustment factor, which is one for basic docomo or COCOMO. This value is very for one to 15. There are certain uh, questions being asked and uh, depending upon them, there is a value uh, effort adjustment factor called as EAF. Now the classes of software projects are, first of all, we have organic mode projects. This is used for relatively smaller teams. The project is developed in familiar environment and there is a proper interaction among the team members and they coordinate their work. So Boehm observed E is equal to 2.4 into KDS, KDSI to the power 1.05. This uh, E is in person months. So these these are the values, these are the constants we have just seen A and B, E is in person month and then we have this S is equal to 2.5. What is this S? This is the schedule. S is 2.5 into E to the power 0 0.38. So E can be computed from here for organic mode projects. Now for semi detached mode projects, it lies between organic mode and embedded mode of terms of team size, in terms of team size. So it Consists of experienced and inexperienced staff and team members are unfamiliar with the system under development. So Boehm observed it will be E is equal to 3 into KDSI to the power 1.12. This is uh, the, you know, uh, E will be computed in a person months. And this will be equal to S will be equal to 2.5 into E to the power 0 0.35 actually. This, this is, you know, mistook. It is there. And for embedded uh, mode projects, the project environment is complex. The team members are highly skilled. The team members are familiar with the system under de development. And Boehm observed that it will be equal to E is equal to 3.6 into KDSI to the power 1.20, again E in person months. And the schedule will be 2.5 into E to the power 0 0.32. These are the table for constants value which we have just seen for modes. We have, what are the modes? Organic, semi-detached and embedded. 
So these are the A, B, C, D values for computation of our effort and schedule. Now we have this intermediate Kokomo. This is used for medium size project. As we have seen that, you know, for basic Kokomo, this is like this. Now we are coming to our intermediate Kokomo. It is used for uh, medium size projects. The cost drivers are intermediate to basic and advanced Kokomo. And the cost drivers depend upon the project reliability, database size, execution and storage. And team size is medium. And advanced Kokomo, it is used for large size project. The cost drivers depend on the requirement, analysis, design, testing and then maintenance. The team size is large. What are the limitations of Kokomo? Kokomo is used to estimate the cost and schedule of the project, starting from the design phase and till end of the integration phase. For the remaining phase, a separate estimation model should be used, right? From the starting, from design phase and to integration, but what about other phases? We have to see some other models. And Kokomo is not a perfect realistic model. So assumptions made at the beginning may vary at time to assist in um, you know, development of the project. And when need arises to revise the cost of the project, a new estimate may show over budget or under budget of the project. This may lead to a partial development of the system, excluding uh, certain requirements. So Kokomo assumes that the requirements are constant throughout the development of the project. Any changes in the requirement are not accommodated for calculation of the cost of the project. This is not much difference or there is no uh, such difference, much difference between basic and intermediate Kokomo except during the maintenance and development of the software project. And Kokomo is not suitable for non-sequential, rapid development, re-engineering and reuse case models. Now we have this cost estimation accuracy also. The cost uh, estimation may vary due to changes in the requirement, staff size or environment in which the software is being developed. So the calculation of cost estimation accuracy is like absolute error is E predicted minus E actual. Percentage error is E predicted minus E actual by E actual. And relative error is E predicted minus E actual by E actual summation of this divided by N. So the above results gives more accurate estimate of cost for future projects. The cost estimation models now becomes more realistic. Now let us come to Kokomo 2. Kokomo 2 was developed in 1995. So it could overcome the limitation of uh, calculating the cost for non-sequential, rapid development, re-engineering and reuse models of software. It has three models. Uh, application composition means good for projects with GUI interface for rapid development of project. Then early design means prepare a rough picture of what is to be designed. And this is done before the architecture is designed. And then post architecture means prepared after the architecture has been designed. Now computation of this Kokomo 2, Kokomo 2, the constant value of B is replaced by five scale factors. The effort is E is, is calculated as A into KDSI to the power SF. SF is the scaling factor. And this is uh, EM. EM is the effort multiplier. 7 for early design, 17 for post architecture. A Kokomo 2 uses, it helps in making decisions based on business and financial calculation of the project, establishes the cost and schedule of the project under development, this provides a plan for the project. So it provides a major, uh, a more realistic cost and uh, schedule, hence the risk mitigation is easy to, easy to accomplish and it overcomes the problem of re-engineering and reuse of software model. So re-engineering and reuse can be taken care of. And it develops a process at each level, hence take care of the capability maturity model also. So let us conclude by saying that constructive cost model was developed by Barry Boehm and is the most common widely used cost estimation models for most uh, software projects. So the effort and schedule calculated by the model is based on two, two things, that is the historical information and experience, thus the reliability on Kokomo has been increased. The website which is provided by NASA on Kokomo provides a Kokomo calculator that cost drivers for in complex projects. So cost drivers directly have an impact on the development of the project. Thank you so much. This was a very brief idea about Kokoma.